Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Not Even French YouTube channel where we discuss all things Francophile, French language, culture and New Zealand culture as well as I am a New Zealander, a Kiwi, based in New Zealand currently but lived in France for six years and plans to do life between the two countries. So if you clicked on the title of this video you already know what it's about, it's all about French men, dating French men, living with French men and being married to a Frenchman as well. And maybe it's the same for French women, I can't say but what I do know is that I have been with my French partner now for about eight years and we've been married for two and there's just things every day every week that still continue to surprise me or be like oh that's not the way a New Zealand guy would do it you know and so I wanted to share some of those with you today and it's not gonna be sort of like the basic like oh when you kiss they think that you're dating and you think that you're not yet exclusive and all that kind of stuff we're past that like <laughs> i've been in a relationship now with a frenchman and have many friends with french partners and we talk about them all the time of course sorry guys but what do you think we're talking about if not you and these are just some of the things that i've noticed and they've noticed and some themes that keep coming up in just the way that they do life so without further ado let's jump straight into the video and we'll start off with my very first point so my first point is around the gift giving side of things so this is a little bit different I find with a Frenchman. So what do I mean by this? Now what I've noticed is that gifts do tend to be really thoughtful but less extreme let's say, less consumerist, less like oh my gosh wow a diamond ring for my birthday? Like less like that. And in fact the typical thing to do when I was living in Paris would be that usually your partner for your birthday for example would organize a pool, uh, an, an online place or not that people could deposit some money and everyone would contribute and there'd usually be a group gift or a group series of gifts on behalf of your partner and all of your friends together. So there's less of that like treasure hunt to like find something like oh, you shouldn't have under the pillowcase do you know what I mean like it's just a little bit less I guess and in general in line with the French mentality less consumerist and less making a big deal out of flashy expensive things now where this is quite interesting especially if you do plan to or hope to eventually get engaged or married to your Frenchman is that I find personally they're not that big on rings as a concept so the engagement ring you know they're not out there going for the big four carat diamond ring reading up on the on the seas cut clarity <laughs> what's the other one you know they're not really doing that I, I just find it again it's less in the mentality to be planning this big extravagant proposal firstly with a massive f off ring and this does tend to go both ways like on one hand the taste in jewelry does tend to be finer and simpler anyway and a bit daintier and then from a practical perspective as well in Paris you actually don't want to be taking the metro every day with a massive diamond on your hand uh, because you would absolutely be a target. One of my friends actually her dad is a jeweler and he gave her a beautiful diamond to be used eventually one day for her engagement ring and she ended up putting it on a necklace because she lives in Paris and not having it on the ring also because her French partner was also a little bit like oh that's flashy it's too much you don't need a, a, a ring like that. So that's quite interesting in terms of like if you had that dream to have that, that big chunky rock you may need to like scale back your <laughs> expectations or sort of take a more pragmatic French approach which is more like having a discussion and deciding to get engaged and then maybe paying for it together or something like that there's less around like the man needs to spend three whole months of his salary on the ring kind of thing and so what this has also meant is that your girl just looks after her jewelry needs herself and I actually wanted to mention one of my favorite jewelry brands and partnered with them on this video Anna Luisa and I've actually spoken about Anna Luisa before you can check it out in this video as well but I wanted to share with you a little bit of a haul I got from them recently because their jewelry is actually made in the US and in France and it's 100% carbon neutral I really really love the sustainable mission they're on. In fact their gold is actually a hundred percent recycled. They also ship internationally which is really good because I'm obviously based in New Zealand now but I do feel like on the Anna Luisa site you can find a lot of pieces that have a French girl vibe. Simple classic quite luxury jewelry and when I say luxury I don't necessarily mean expensive their jewelry starts from $39 but they've been able to make that happen through their supply chain and the way that they do business so they don't have to add massive markups on the jewelry. So I'll just show you a few of the things 
that I've got recently. So the first is this necklace. So uh, we're just going to go down my top for a second, excuse me. But I got this necklace, which is like a really pretty fine gold chain and then actually like a dog tag kind of styles and it is called the dog tag necklace set so that's really pretty I also got this really pretty ear cuff because I love the look of double piercings but I'm a complete wimp so that one's just called the simple ear cuff and I'll link it down below and I also got this so I haven't worn it yet but it's going to be perfect for summer and yeah sorry it's coming up in summer in New Zealand I know a lot of you are based in the US and Europe and you're just going into winter but I got this really pretty anklet so yeah just a pretty anklet to wear around my foot I'm not gonna show you my foot on YouTube because I have limits but yeah how cute is that so if you want some beautiful Anna Luisa jewelry for yourself maybe even matching with me you can definitely check out my link down below they're having a mad Black Friday sale on at the moment definitely click the link and check it out and treat yourself or maybe treat someone you love with the holiday period coming up but if you want to invest in a high quality long-lasting carbon neutral jewelry brand this is definitely the brand for you plus it looks very very chic okay so moving on from the mentality around gift giving and jewelry and things like that to a completely different world so Frenchmen love their facts and French people in general actually but they love a fact they are sort of consumers of general knowledge and they like to improve that general knowledge and what you'll find is that they are always those people you know the ones who are reading up on a new location before visiting it for the first time figuring out the best recommendations in, in Lonely Planet or La Hutard. And also whenever you go into a museum or something, you have to be prepared to move quite slowly because they'll want to read all of the signs. And I know that that's what museums have been designed for. But I don't know many people that actually, you know, take the time to read and absorb the information and really talk about the facts afterwards and what they've learned and stuff quite like a Frenchman so they are a seeker of facts and also what I've noticed that's kind of linked to this is that French people have a thing around orientation where they are where they have been and that kind of thing so if you ever sort of I don't know for example we go on a hike I go on a hike with Niels and we get to the top and we're looking out at the bay in Wellington and he'll start saying okay so over there is Porirua there we have Wainui over there you can see Murama and he'll be like pointing out and I'll be like yep yeah, that's true that's that's a fact you know that that's what it is and he's like oh look there's a stadium and they're sort of like geolocalizing you know like where am I and where am I in my surroundings and it can be even like I noticed this in the metro in Paris uh, French people speaking between themselves and you know sort of pointing out and being like on the metro map being like oh okay so we were just here and now we're going here and we're staying here, for example, and they're, they're always sort of situating themselves, if that makes sense. And I quite link it as well to the fact thing because it's like, yep, we sure are. And also speaking in the present a lot around facts as well, like, for example, like everyone's experiencing the same weather, right? And I'll find that Frenchmen and French people actually in general will be like, ah, oh, il fait chaud, it's hot. Alors il est devant. There's some wind. Oh, il fait froid là. You know, and they'll talk about facts. It's like, yeah, I felt the wind too, you know, but I didn't feel the need to kind of say it. So it's sort of like speaking in the present and being very factual and being like, okay, oh, it's quite hot. There's that suburb. Do you see that? And also just, yeah, as I said before, that quest for knowledge, soaking up general information and always trying to explain and their repertoire of all the things that they know about. All right, the side of being with a Frenchman is kind of annoying, to be honest. So <laughs> I find French, not just me, but you know, in general with friends and stuff like that as well, Frenchmen can be kind of nags. Like there's like a right way to do things. So it's like there's always a better way to approach something. So it's like you're chopping vegetables and it's like, oh no, it's more efficient if you chop it like this or you're preparing a fire or something. And they're like, oh no, don't do that. Like when you put the log like that, uh, the smoke's not gonna be able to escape as well. You know, and they'll sort of like critique 
the way you do things like oh and if you wash the dishes like that it's going to leave soap suds on it when you put it to dry you have to rinse it off with the water completely so that there's no soap suds or bubbles that will dry on the items and stuff there's like all these rules and ways of doing things and I don't know if it comes it probably does to be honest comes from the French parenting style which I've spoken about a little bit on this channel but I do feel like the parenting style is quite like on the kids all the time like don't do this do this you know sit up straight especially younger children it's quite often in training mode if that makes sense like always putting the kids in the right place and like catching something as soon as it happens they don't never let the kids get away with anything if you know what I mean and so I feel like maybe it comes from that culture but what it results in is French men and I don't know if French women do this as well but they do have like ways that things are done and they tell you very quickly like oh if you wipe the table like that it leaves streak marks and stuff and it's like why do you care I don't know so you do have the impression sometimes that French men can be like on your back if that makes sense and oh my gosh it can be really really annoying another thing that's semi annoying but probably quite a good thing is that they again it's sort of linked to the rules and they know what's right they know what's best for you and this would come back to the way you eat so because French people are anchored in very much like caring about your health but it can come across as a bit you know patronizing because they can also tell you how to eat and so what I've noticed is that you know if you're just having one of those nights where you're snuggled up on the couch watching some Netflix and you're wanting to have like a bag of chips, right? They'll be like this, have this concerned face like, that's not very good for you. You shouldn't eat that much junk food. Like it's gonna make you sick or you're not gonna feel well and that kind of stuff. And it's like, just leave it. I know what I'm doing. I'm an adult, I wanna eat the frickin' chips, okay? <laughs> you know? And it's the same with lollies and stuff like, oh, that's really bad for you. You shouldn't eat crap like that, you know? Like, it's not from a, like, I'm trying to control what you eat perspective, but it's like, a, oh, you shouldn't be doing that to yourself. And it's like, ugh, when you've grown up in countries where there is a lot of junk food and lollies and chippies and things like that, and that's fortunately or unfortunately just part of your diet and nostalgia and all those kinds of things, it does get a bit food shamey. And there's a scene actually from one of Kate's videos from Unintentionally Frenchified where she's like sneaking to the kitchen having to eat her chips <laughs> in secret to hide from her French husband and that's so freaking true like honestly it does make you hide <laughs> sometimes like eating food that's bad for you because you just don't want the comments you're just like shh just like just leave me in peace you know to eat my crappy food I know it's bad for me another sign that you are dating a Frenchman is that they will tell you how it is they do not hold back so what I mean by this is that you know there's less of this culture around I find in general French men like happy wife happy life do you know what I mean like there's less of the like oh just say this to keep her happy or just say this to make her shut up or like whatever it is like that kind of like blokey anglo-saxon style but there is like on the other side they just tell you what's on their mind they may just like walk in at night after work and be like oh you look tired and I was like oh thanks that's nice or like just dyed my hair um, back to my natural color and it's I've had blonde in it for ages so to be fair it does look a lot darker than it has in years but you know like instead of like oh that looks really nice just be like oh that's really dark and like no follow-up <laughs> you're like oh okay do, do, do you think it looks nice though you kind of have to like fish for compliments sometimes with the Frenchman because they will just tell you how it is and I like that because you know you know what's actually on their mind which is nice in a relationship but sometimes it can be a little bit like oh I know like did you have to say it Frenchmen are also very very into their politics and I honestly think that whether you have just started dating a Frenchman or you want to date a Frenchman or you're married to a Frenchman whatever it is you do have to take interest in this kind of thing because it is going to be a large part of their world like I do feel that reading the news every day and discussing politics and debating politics and policies and all that kind of stuff it does seem to be a very shared hobby interest passion and it's not something you can run away from <laughs> believe me I tried no but you should definitely take interest in this and try and follow along because it is going to be quite a significant part of his world and it's going to be something that he enjoys speaking about quite a lot another thing is the comic books so when you're dating a Frenchman 20s 30s 40s 50s 60s and beyond don't be surprised that they're still reading comic books or bande dessinée so BD these bande dessinée they are yeah comic books graphic novels but they span all ages in France and what can be quite 
interesting is that you know you'll see comics for adults right so there'll be like you know an adventure and a scene and then a love story and there'll be like comic book characters having sex and you're like okay um and you know it's like i guess it's more like a graphic novel but not because it is definitely like there's a lot in the actual comic book format right and so you know for your very grown-up man to be reading comic books is something that you associate with children usually right just a disclaimer is that these comic books are not always about superheroes and it's not like batman and you know that kind of stuff only like it could be anything honestly it could be absolutely anything a lot of humor a lot of just adventure stories and there's categories from children to teenagers to adults and then like adults you know and everything in between so that's quite funny as well when you're sort of like in bed with your frenchman and you look over it's quite cute for some reason because I associate it with being younger but and I was like reading their comic book Happy as Larry. Something that I also associate with Frenchmen now is also their lack of enthusiasm around more commercial holidays so Halloween, Valentine's Day, all of that kind of thing. Then being a bit like about the whole event and just kind of being skeptical in general right and sort of you know not believing the hype and not sort of getting really enthusiastic about stuff like getting excited for like holidays and that kind of stuff like like aren't you so excited and i'm like muy so bien muy so bien cool quoi like so laid back you definitely have to more so rely on your friends and that kind of stuff if you want to do the hyping like oh my god this is gonna be amazing because you're not gonna be sort of like jumping up and down with a frenchman in general as well and it's actually the same when you go to the cinema and i mean i'm a crier like i will cry quite easily but you know in a, in a film that merits crying where you're just like it was so emotional and deep and impactful again you can like come out and be like how incredible was that and they'll be like Cool, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this insight into life with a Frenchman, some of the quirky things that I have noticed. Now, don't forget that to get some beautiful Anna Luisa jewelry, they are having a massive Black Friday sale, so go and check them out in the link down below. You can definitely rock that French girl chic while knowing that they offset 100% of their carbon emissions. If you're dating a Frenchman, I would love to know what have you noticed about being with them? What has sort of surprised you along the way? And I'll also link some other video links down below of some older videos that I've done as well. So you can see a little bit the progression of things that I've noticed over time. Otherwise guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week on the Not Even French channel. A bientôt